Indeed, greetings unto you, beloved and holy friends. Thank you so much for joining me again on another video. I do appreciate your presence. Let's melt more into being, shall we? Look at this little one. Trying to eat my fingers. Numb all the finger kiss. Huh? Why are you always gonna numb my fingers? Do you want to go bite the other dog, maybe? Hmm? 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 <laughs> Trying to fit her face over my arm. Wow, this is tuning, and we're waiting for all of our wonderful friends to come together in this space. I'm gonna pour myself some water, which is, she is really curious about. She thinks it's for her, because everything is for her, right? Everything is for me. <laughs> Look at her wanting the, the glass of water. No, it's my glass of water. It's mine. It's my glass of water. No, leave it. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. Uh, eternal blessings to you as well, Nate. Oh, it's Rena. Yeah, friend, we've gotten a little puppy. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's nice of you to join us. Aaron is here as well. He wants, she wants my water. It's mine. It's my water. Uh, what do you want? I'm pouring some water directly next to me to see if if she's thirsty or something. Oh, no, she's licking it. Man, I feel bad for not giving her my water. I literally gave her some milk before the stream as well, so I, she should be fine. I don't like dogs, but damn, this one is cute. You don't like dogs, Rena? Is there a story behind why you don't like dogs? I would really love to hear it. Uh, hey, Edmund is here as well. Thank you for joining me, friend. As we, as we get into it, as we start to melt more. She's actually drinking the water. I'll add some more for you. There we go. Oh, sweetheart. I'm gonna start crushing a bud. Man, I feel really good today. Like really, really, really good. Oh, goodness. I don't have my little book of things meant to be said. <laughs> book of things worth saying with me. I just realized. <laughs> Eats my toes. No. <laughs> Let's take some time to, to read something. See if I can get her to calm down. Release some of her curiosity about what it is I'm doing. Hmm. Fear is always a contraction away from love. Be the truth that sets all things free. Creation is waiting to move through me. Ooh wee! Uh, I like dogs, but I have no intention in having one. Yeah. Like, it's the, the fun to responsibility meter, right? You want, if you want a dog, want a dog, you get your friends to have dogs. And then you get to play with dogs without having to, like, bear the responsibility of feeding them. And taking them for walks and keeping them occupied when they want to eat your fingers. Um... I've just grown up with one <laughs> with hundreds of cats, so it's kind of a clash with my personality. I hear what you're saying, Rina. It's the opposite with me, where I grew up with doges, even though we've had cats for a while as well. <laughs> Hello, Yader. Thank you for joining us. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa, my lovely friend. Good evening, Ashley. <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to tire her out at this point. Get those muscles to work. Oh, oh. What's this? Oh. <laughs> um, da -dum -dum. But I've managed to have a relationship 
with a few individual dogs that live close to me. Yeah, you see, those are the best dogs to have. <laughs> the ones that live close to you but aren't yours. I absolutely love animals, but I'm not a pet person at all. Okay. Why is that, Edmund? Is it because of the, the responsibility? How do you feel about kids then, my friend? Are you an SA now? Yes, I am just a girl in the world. I'm living in South Africa right now. As we speak, I live in South Africa. As we speak. Um, if I had my ways, I would only have like fish or reptiles. I love my cat though. Oh, you have a cat. You already have a pet though, but a, pe a cat is like the, the lowest of maintenance pets. They kind of just keep themselves entertained for most of it. What? Really? I am also South Af from South Africa. Well, look at that bleep blue blob. I think today, just today, we've met like five different friends from South Africa in chat. We did really well this morning of stream. We like met, how many was it? 64,000 friends. And out of that 64,000 friends who decided to say hi, like five of them happened to be South Africans. Yow, 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 yow. Yow, 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 yow. Ah. <laughs> Don't you want to rest? <laughs> Don't you want to lay down and stop pestering me? Hmm? So I can roll my stuff? Don't you want to do that? Hmm? Hmm? Little stouter Manage to spill water on me while laughing at you grabbing the pup. She is like quite the character. I'm trying to tire her out as well, which I think is happening right about, right about now. Shh. Her puppy eyes were shh. 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 Close the eyes. Shh. Just sleep. Sleep now. Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> um, with your background and noticed it looked familiar. Not that I've deleted my comment and now I, you can't see it anymore um i've known to do this thing where i take in homeless animals and then get attached and completely heartbroken when i find them homes it's bittersweet man thank you for doing that though Jovan. that's beautiful and thank you for being here with us as well Pretend like I don't notice. I don't notice you biting me. Look at her get like triggered because I'm. <laughs> You're getting triggered with me? You're getting triggered? Oh, because I'm not feeding into your shenanigans? Oh, is that what you're doing? I suppose you could say it's the responsibility. It's also weird to me having a free roaming animal in my house as I didn't grow up with pets. Also, with pets, I feel more limiting in my traveling, etc. I feel that especially, dude. Especially the limiting in the traveling. She's playing with the mushroom. <laughs> Hopefully she tires herself out soon. I think... I'm tiring out now, puppy. No, yeah. I've, I've been mistaken, just a girl. Like, she's like, still all the way in it. I'm sure it's gonna be soon, though. Soon. Very soon. She gets tired, like, 15 minutes into it or so. Creation being something that moves through you. This is an interesting topic, right, Yader? Because I feel like in a lot of cases it is. You know, because we go through life as these creations, right? And we get to create things in this life as well as a result of that. And there's just so much, you know, almost happening to us. Or at least we think of it as happening to us. <sighs> and, you know, as a result of the things that happens, it also changes how we, we kind of continue with life. We make new decisions. We reevaluate why we do things the way we do things. And it's a way of letting creation live through us, you know, quite literally. I've also absolutely loved kids and always wanted kids. But actually lately, 
I've been kind of considering the benefits of, the benefits of not having kids. Yeah, that is a, it's a pretty serious topic as well. And it's not one you can take lightly, Edmund, right? Big Magic is a really good book that talks about this. Interesting that you actually know or can resonate with what is being said as well. Letting creation live through us. Oh yeah, it was heartbreaking to give away little kittens every year, but I knew the new kittens will come and that they will keep them all. And that I can't keep them all. Oh! 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 Why are you hurting me? Hmm? You see her trying to make up for her little paws. Oh, she knows she's too sweet to be kept angry. Or be, to stay angry at her. Your accent doesn't sound very South African, although I suspect Joburg sounds like a Joburg accent. Nee, nie heel te mal nie. Ek is in Klerkstorp gebore. Die trek was van Klerkstorp af. Ellen Rich toe, van Ellen Rich af. Ristenburg toe, van Ristenburg af. Uh, a plek na by Mabel Hall toe. En ek bly in die area vir die laaste 12 jaar omtrein. Ek het baie vroeg geleer Engels praat. En ek was ook sien natuurlijk gewees om Engels te gaan gee, so my accent is bieke anders, you can say. I used to work with children a lot, and I absolutely adore them, but sometimes kind of like uh, it with pets, where I like other people's more than I think I'd like having my own, yeah. Yeah, I've noticed that as well, Edmund. Having nephews and nieces is pretty rad. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, like that. You tired now? Are you gonna tire? Are you gonna tire? No, leave my scarf alone. Leave my scarf alone. You calm down. You calm down. No, no you calm down. No. Now you. Now you calm down. Like how? How do I even? How, how do people get anything done? Like this is probably why they couldn't stay the size. Like, my mom said something yesterday, like, I wish they would just stay this size. Like, I would, they would just, the world would just fall into complete disorder and chaos. Because no one would do anything, we would just be playing with puppies. We would just be playing with puppies all the time, yes. Playing with them all the time. There you go. She's gonna venture out on her own, I hope. I'm gonna hide my water from her. Okay. That, that venture that she went on went for like a, a solid second. <clears throat> mm, and she's back at the mushroom. Javan, uh, I would be the most kick ass uncle. There you go. Does your brother want kids as well, Edmund? I mean, like it's gonna be a little bit of a yikes if he also doesn't want kids and none of you get to be uncles. You have to be open to receiving the creativity, otherwise the creativity will find its way through someone else. Okay, so I love that you're saying that, because that's a little bit of a, a different idea as to the one I have of creation living through us. But this idea, like, you know, that ideas is almost something that's out there in the world. And then we all can tune into these ideas. But if we don't actually take the initiation and do the, the, the idea, like practice the idea, then none of it is going to actually f like fluoresce. Is fluoresce the word? Flourish is the right word, right? We have to actually still be the ones that go out and do them. And if we're not the one doing them, then someone else is going to. Do it. Do it. Do it. Like it's kind of wet with dog mu mucus right now. That's why I'm smelling on it. Can you not, please? Can you just calm down? You already like covered me in your hair, which I'm tolerating because there's no one else to take care of you. And she's like been sleeping all day. Been sleeping all day. Been sleeping all day, so she's actually tired. Why aren't you tired just yet? Looking for the mushroom. <laughs> She's such a character. I cannot get her to stop. Uh, I have a problem. Oh, that I missed some things. I did. No, 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 no. 
Uh, I would love to be a grandma so someone would eat my breakfast and pa breakfast and pastries. You'll be one of those grandmas just overfeeds the children, right? What? You're hungry? I'm coming. I'm coming right now. Puppy teats are like razors. Yeah. I got a little bit of a sh one scrape. Like she pulled blood once from me. She hasn't been able to pierce my skin again. Mm, definitely a sort of minor conflict to me. Yeah, it's like a... You know, it's it's the back and forth, dude, that's the problem. Like, you you know you want both. You want to be able to be an uncle, able to experience what it would be like to have children, but also it is going to be a responsibility at the end of the day. I think she's giving up. Oh, she's coming down. Coming down? Hmm? You want to calm down? You want to chillax? Hmm? You want to chillax? <laughs> That's not you. So she's trying to bamboozle me. Afrikaans is hot. Uh, thank you, I guess. <laughs> I have a problem where I desperately want to experience every way of life out there, which obviously isn't possible. Like, the quiet family life sounds nice, but I also want to travel the world and have a life of adventure. I mean, I think we're going to live long enough to have both, dude. Like, we can have adventures until we're in our 40s and then have kids as well. Ah! Stop eating my shit! Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Yo, she's, she's clever. Hey, Aunt B is here as well. Thank you for joining us. I've seen... Uh, yeah, it's a Soti net I guess the a Soti net, dude. I guess geboren in South Africa. I'm glad you're here with your whole life. I'm oprecht South Afrikaans. <laughs> but I'm happy that you're, you're joining me here, friend. Uh, I want to live a humble life with little money, but also being super rich sounds fun. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, the thing is as well, you already did, dude. Like, that's that's the thing you have to realize, Edmund. You've already lived all of these lives, dude. We've already lived all of these lives. Mushroom attack. Yeah, she's a little machine. Hey, TJ. He says, Melty, glad to see you, my friend. It's good to see you as well, dude. How have you been? How's your wife been? How's your kids been? How's your job been? It's been a while since we've chatted. Uh, I think one of my brothers wants kids, and I don't know about the other one. Long way after, though. Yeah. Still gonna be a while, dude. We have time. Can you relax? Can you relax? Just, please. I wanna start rolling some weed. You know what? I'll just let her eat my mushroom, and then I'll, I'll roll. Still. Because I, I feel like I'm gonna- this is a losing battle. I'm not gonna win this one. Yesterday, I literally I kind of like bribed her with uh, some peanut butter and mints just so that she can give me like a second to roll. And then it like lasted a whole of 10 seconds. Well, not the 10 seconds, like maybe two minutes until she was like at the door crying and I had to go and fetch her anyway. I never won the child until I had one. It was the one thing I never knew I always wanted. It's an amazing experience. I've never felt a love and a pride like I do for my son. You see, that, just that on its own, I feel is the reason that I want kids of my own as well. Not just because it's, you know, it might be something that I never knew I wanted, but just the actual experience of having a child, that on its own, I, mean, I think would be absolutely amazing. So it's not something I would want to rob of myself, but again, I've already experienced it, right? It is an experience. The beautiful, that's beautiful questionable, yeah it is. Pappy Blick is here as well. Is that your pop's pup? She looks like quite the curious one. She is insatiable. She's just not stopping. She's also like digging plants out of the garden. Like especially the succulents. Is, uh, are they succulents? I'm guessing succulents, right? Where she's just like pulling them out of the ground. I'm like, dude, why? Why are you doing this? She's just chewing on anything. Anything and everything. Well, I'm guessing she's getting comfortable right now. Like, if she goes, if she gets on her back, she's usually, like, priming herself to sleep. <sighs> I might be completely wrong as well, though. <clears throat> I want to hug the puppy! Oh, skater girl, isn't she adorable? She's just relentless right now, though. Thank you for joining me, friend. How have you been? Good. I think it's the first time I've ever seen you in my streams. Good morning, Mel. Just wanted to apologize. If my comment the other day 
was too forward. Glad to catch your stream today. Um, my co your comment about I remember you said something that can be seen as forward, but I mean it's already not in my consciousness anymore, friends. So obviously it wasn't something that you had to apologize for. Thank you though for for going out of your way and doing that. FD, I appreciate you, friend, for being so considerate. Don't worry though. I don't take offense that easily. I've been insulted by myself more times and with more intensity than any other human being would ever be able to. So, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't, I don't stress, dude. I don't trip, dog. I don't trip. Uh, I think 30s is better for having kids. I mean, yeah, maybe. Like, if your significant other is the same age as you, definitely. God for the domme Afrikaans. Okay, let's see it uh, lol, it sounds, it sounds awesome. I'm happy that you appreciate the sound of it. Everyone is very well. Thank you for asking. Congrats on the addition to your family. Thank you, friend. It was my dad's a purchase decision, if you will. He just kind of brought her home. Like first sent me a photo over WhatsApp of this, you know, little monster's face. And then, you know, no context. And then I asked, is that actually ours? And then he gives, sends me a winky, like a winky face, winky emoji. I'm like, you know, okay. <laughs> uh, oh, I was also born in South Africa and I live here right now. I also thought Soti meant someone that was raised Afrikaans, but then learned English and started speaking English more. So, boop, bloop, like I'm going to inform you to something that's a little bit disturbing. Soti means you have one leg in England and one leg in South Africa and something is dangling in the water that is now salty salty right yeah that's that's where that saying comes from friend <laughs> that's why I'm not a not technically a salty it would be really great if I was because that would mean I have European citizenship but unfortunately no I do not are you high my bro not just yet friend I'm rolling myself a J right now I agree questionable yeah, you have two of your own, right, Aunt B? Yeah, I, I think I'll definitely, like, I wanted to, uh, in quotation marks, say have to have kids. Just because I believe it's going to be such a divine experience in its own. I don't want to have children. I want to educate them, but not in the scope of the educational system. That's a very interesting goal you have, Rina. Can you, like, elaborate a little bit on that? Because I'm not exactly sure I understand what you mean. Having a baby is like having a puppy 10x, yeah. Because you can't just, you know, like this this little baby, even though she's like nine weeks old, there's still some time that I can kind of leave her on the ground and she will just, you know, follow me wherever it is I go. Yeah, babies don't do that. <laughs> At least not until they're like three years old or something. I wish South Africa would finalize the legal side of marijuana. They decriminalized it like two years ago now. And it's still not officially legal commercially. Yeah, bloop. It's pretty. It's pretty hectic, dude. It's pretty hectic. Like it's such a, such a great opportunity for our country when it comes to like tax revenue and stuff like that as well. Our country is just spicy, dude. Let's just say spicy. I love this country, but it's a little bit spicy. Just a wee bit spicy. I have another little cannabis Garrick with us today. I like like it so much that. I want to continue doing it until I don't have any left. I have a rolling paper. I'm going to write something on this. Man, this doge is, is testing my patience in the most adorable of ways. <laughs> uh, I completely agree, Rina. Thank you. Hey, on B, a Yorkshire Terrier. Uh, this is actually a just a normal Jack Russell. It's also a technically a terrier, Jack Russell Terrier, but yeah, Jack Russell Terrier, so not Yorkshire. They're interesting characters of dogs, very energetic. Is your dad a softy for the poppers? He is. My dad is a pretty much of a, a softy for the poppers, in the same way that I am as well. I mean, how can you not be for look at this monster? Thank you for the wholesome friend. I appreciate it. Stern, Sten, Stent, Stent. I appreciate you being here, Jack Russell. You, there we go. 
Uh, a good looking pup. She's adorable. She's she's not stopped moving until we sat down, but she's wonderful. Please put the pup on the focus. Here. Stop stalling. Uh, show us what's in your fridge. No. I'm not going to show you what's in my fridge. My fridge is top secret. You'll see all the bodies I hide in there if I show you. Uh, you want you want to be internet famous, Kiki? If I point you at the camera long enough, we'll go front page. Oh, look at that. Oh. And then she's going for it again. She's like eating my shirt now. Oh man. Oh, I need to breathe. Oh, hey, missed you, Melty. Hope you're holding up well, my essay friend. Eat red meat. I saw you actually followed the the Meltmore profile recently. Yeah, it's nice. Like I was looking at your profile name and I was like, man, I hope that you're well as well. How have you been? Heath Ledger? Heath Ledger has passed away a few years ago, unfortunately, friend. I'm Meltmore. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us, Dastalio. And you have a four-legged friend, yes. And she just laid down. <sighs> Finally, I can calm down as well now. You know, that's what we're smoking for today. A C, a A, an L, an M. What does that spell? We're gonna be calm. I wonder if I do this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can also see it. Oh, we're gonna have some calm vibes today. I'm gonna use a Garrick made of a little piece of cannabis wood. As nature intended, you know. As nature intended for me to be doing this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're sad about me not showing you what's in my fridge? Like, the problem isn't me not showing you what's in the fridge. The problem is the inconvenience of standing up with a doge that is trying to steal my weed tray from me, you know? That is the real issue, dude. That is the real issue. And the fact that usually when I come and sit down for these streams, I don't stand back up again because one, it is a balanced camera angle that is literally with a hairband tied to the side of a chair so that it stays level. So I'll, I'll literally have to un, un hair band it <laughs> and then walk you to my fridge, which I don't want to do right now. You know, do excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Sorry for disappointing you. Mm. Dum -dum -dum. I like to get kids interested in stuff that usually hated by most people like maths and analytical thinking and if they're interested they'll find a way to learn for themselves like I believe our educational system is so broken at the moment as well we should encourage kids to you know just continue learning whatever it is they want to learn the fact that we force them to like study all subjects from the very start like sure it's good to have basic knowledge about things right I'm not arguing about that. But forcing people for so long to like do stuff that they don't have any interest in whatsoever, you know, when you could be channeling all of that time and energy into, for example, the sciences, when a person is very equipped to do the sciences or art or whatever, like I think that's the way we should be treating our kids and humans in general when it comes to the educational systems. Encourage them to do what it is that comes naturally. Mm, tell me more. Yeah, it sounds good. That's so cool, Rena. Uh, I'm super pro alternative learning method. Uh, everyone's brains receive information differently. So, there cannot be only one way to teach. I agree completely, dude. I agree completely with that sentiment. Like, not only isn't there only... Not only one way to teach but there's probably a myriad of different ways i believe that by the time i have kids that normal teachers won't actually oh okay or maybe that's a little bit far to go you know i like saying things sometimes but maybe that's a little bit far i wanted to say by the time i have kids 
uh, normal teachers, you know, people teachers won't be a thing anymore. Because I believe our teacher systems is going to be taken over by AI. Because imagine if you could literally like give your teacher, or give your child an AI teacher, which literally learns your kids specific needs, your kids specific likes and dislikes, and then caters to that as a learning system, encourages them with information that they will find both uh, engaging and also interesting at the same time. Right? That's how I think the future of learning is going to go. Either that or we'll just have access to information with our heads because of neurological implants. Mm. We're moving into a weird future, friends. Things are going to be almost unrecognizable. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I'm always arguing with my son's teacher, Edmund. Man, that sounds frustrating. What are you arguing about? Arguing about grades? Arguing about the way that she treats him in class? I'm really curious, Lisa. Because, like, man... Okay, like, let me... Let me say this. I have mixed feelings about homeschooling as well. Because my cousins were homeschooled. Like, and now this is also the question of... It comes to discipline of the actual parents as well. And the discipline of the... The children, you know, how their education is going to turn out at the end of the day. But their education did not turn out that great. Not for most of them, not only in homeschooling. They ended up going to normal school again at the end of their schooling careers. Mm, doo -dum, doo -dum. What kind of cat is that? The sweetest of cats, my friend. Uh, no, 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 no. I just accidentally unfollowed you, then immediately refollowed you yesterday. Oh, no problem at all, eat red meat. Like, I, I just saw it, and I wanted to, like, let you know that I was thinking about you. Absolutely, it is completely unfair to not give all children equal opportunities to grow. Unfortunately, yeah. And that's what we're dealing with right now as well. What do you do for a living, friend? I am at service of people, friend. Nice, Jay. Thank you. I appreciate you appreciating it. I'm going to light it as soon as I feel comfortable to. Thank you for the silver, Erblin. He's a male underwear model. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the focus should be on teaching people how to learn, not focus on what. The what will come if they understand how. Exactly, Yader. So if you can encourage people to just, or kids, to just learn things because they find it fascinating, and then learn from their process of learning, that's the way we should do it, I, I believe at least. Mm, it's the same for colleges as well. They make you take a bunch of general education classes that has nothing to do with your major. Yeah. Like, I understand why it is they're doing it, smiteys. You're right. And thank you for joining us, friend. It's because it's like, uh, they want to give you general knowledge. That's the thing. General classes. So you have a general understanding of things. But if you want to specialize, <sighs> fortunately, like, this is what I want to say. Fortunately, every single one of us doesn't have to know everything. Every single one of us doesn't have to know the things doctors know. Every single one of us, just assume that I'm saying that every time, don't have to know how to be an engineer, don't have to know how to be an IT guy, don't have to know how to be this, that or the other, because we are a collective. And it's as a collective that we are strong. And you know, on that note, I feel so calm as to light this joint. Hmm. Calm, man, this tastes really good. Mm, definitely a waste of time and money, yeah. I've almost been tinkering with comic format, but I can broaden it up through other art forms as well. Oh, that sounds fantastic, Rina. Why haven't you shared that with us, friend? 
I would love to see that. Yes, Yader, teach critical and inquisitive thinking. And give some guidance, and most people will teach themselves. Yep, yep, yep. Calm. And when I say how I mean help find out what works for the individual, yeah. Whoa, I work in AI, and that is spot on. I know, friend. I know. <laughs> like, I don't know anything, but I know some things. Right? And I understand AI as well, very well. So I know where things are going. AI is like nuclear power. Can be used for extreme good or can be used for extreme bad. Yeah, it's true, friend. Same thing is with a water and a rag as well. In the hands of one person, water and a rag can like clean something. In the hands of another person, you can water boat someone with it, right? Like, it's not the, the thing that's the problem. It's human intention. And I think if we strengthen our intentions to the betterment of mankind, right? That is our our general intention. Then things are going to turn out for the best, regardless of that, people. Mm. And plus, school hasn't changed since the Industrial Revolution, yep. And was basically set up during the Industrial Revolution to make people that will work in the industrial revolution uh, and common core Obama learning I have no idea what you're talking about Lisa unfortunately or fortunately maybe I should say AI is just as big bunch of ifs else no uh, maybe like the the point at which we are right now is where we can have like virtual AIs, right? You can have the AI and the basic structure of the AI duplicate itself millions of times and then run the same little interaction in a different way, right? You can teach uh, like linguistic AI through thousands of different uh, AI versions of itself by talking to itself. Yeah, AI is <laughs> something else, right? Freaking neural networks gonna blow us up like we're already at the point where our internet as we have it right now is almost a sentient network we don't understand it anymore hello hello it's ryan ryan dude how have you been my friend it's been a while i've been thinking about you so much i saw you on harley stream but i think you left before i got there what strain my brother this is one of the supposed to be cbd strains that i harvested like I think I'll call this one actually a name. I'll call her... I'm limited by saying her now because now I'm, I'm trying to choose a feminine name. I'll call her Lyra. I'm smoking Lyra, dude. Since I couldn't call her Lyra. I'll call this planted. And I'm happy that you're here, Ryan. Thank you for joining us, friend. Um, management, I'm scrolling up. And reading comments, male underwear model, hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, I'm getting wrecked, mammy. I get wrecked all the time. Like, it's either that or I am an escort, according to, to Lisa. Hello to everyone in the chat. I sincerely hope you all have an excellent day. I hope you have an excellent day as well. Eat red meat, your boss. Your boss, hey my dude, Acro, thank you for joining us. Love you all, love you too, friend. Mm -hmm. All good here in Dublin, you lovely people, fantastic. Happy afternoon, good to see you. Good to see you as well, ragged but right. How long has it been, friend? It's so nice to see you again. Like, do tell me what you've been up to. Hey, I will kill us all. Nah, dude. We're doing a really good job of doing it ourselves right now as well. Don't worry. Um, good morning. Get here a bit late. Was attending the garden and preparing the grill. Thank you for being here nonetheless. You're never late, Viking Queen. You're here right now. When you feel 
Uh, when do you feel the singularity will happen? Really interesting that you asked me that question, friend. <laughs> because me and a friend literally had a chat about that last night. And he said, like, after we reach the point where we have um, Neuralink going, um, <clears throat> gene uh, modification going, and AI going all strong, full pistons, or at least to the point where all three of them are in integrated into basic humans, he believes the singularity is going to happen like 10 years after that. I believe like about 100 years after that, but yeah, it's not far away, friend. When do you think strong property? Uh, I'm seeing all my friends graduate and pass me by and it hurts. I'm on my seventh year of undergrad and it makes me feel bad. Any advice? Are you on your seventh year of undergrad because you're a repeating years, friend? And, like, I don't necessarily have any good advice to give you other than you have to study, right? <laughs> right? Like, that's the only advice I can, that comes to mind. Like, at the end of the day, there's no getting behind, right? You're seeing your friends graduate and pass. There's no getting behind. Because at the end of the day, all of this is impermanent. Every little bit of it is impermanent. We don't get to hold on to any of it. So, by realizing that, you realize that there is no thing running away from you. When you finish your undergrad, friend, it is going to be just as good as if you finished in one year. Because in that moment, you will have experienced the feeling of having finished your undergraduate. And that's what's important. That's what you should strive for. Hey, Lane. Thank you for joining us as well. Uh... Hello, Lane. Lane, I was just scrolling chat to see if you were on. There we go. Humans are selfish and for the most part evil. I do not agree even a bit, friend. I believe that the general consensus, the things that we remember the most and the things that we talk about the most are the bad things that happen. And as a result of that, it skews our understanding of human nature as to think of it as only selfish and only evil. I do not believe that's the case for all humans, though. So we shouldn't want people to grow up and get a job. Like, what does it mean to grow up and get a job, friend? In your opinion, right? <laughs> you think that's a good thing? So, like, if, if I had a family dependent on me, right? Like a wife and kids. Then I could understand the urgency. But... I have already gotten to the point where death is not something that I fear. And no matter how much I work, no matter how much money I accumulate, no matter how many relationships I've been in, how many things I happen to accumulate in my life, be it experiences, be it, you know, partners, be it wealth, be it physical things I can hold on to, be it friends, these things I don't get to take with me, all right? Because the, the I that is continuous in this thing is like unchanging. The ego is the one that attaches all of these things to it. And like at the end of the day, that's, that's how I feel about it as well. I've, I've gone through the whole process of, you know, having a, having a job and paying for my apartment and you know, not being able to eat food at the end of the month because you don't have any money left. Refusing to ask your parents for for any help because you're too proud. Like, I've, I've been through that experience already. You know, and it, it didn't bring me any satisfaction either. What I'm doing right now with my life, you know, with this intention of bringing space, bringing a feeling... I feel maybe that's also what it's supposed to be, bringing a feeling to you, friends, right? Or experiencing a feeling with you, friends. 
Like, that is something that is so much more valuable to me than the jobs I've had in my life and the money that came from those jobs as well. So, I do believe that in some circumstances, in some cases, we should encourage people to grow up and get a job, if you will. If they're literally, you know, in complete disarray, not having any direction of what it is they want to do, why it is they're doing things, like what their intention is for the things that they're doing. If your intention is to, like, get to the end of the night so you can sleep again with your days, then you're literally going to fill that time with whatever, right? But if your intention is to make the world a little better place than you found it, like, those are two way different intentions. And, yeah, I mean, we all get to live our own divine lives. <clears throat> I've been all right. How have you been? I've been well as well, Lane. I'm happy that you've been well, my friend. Uh, that shouldn't be the end goal and the only thing that we make important. Though. Yeah, I don't think so either, dude. Like, because, like, at the end of the day, the most enjoyable part of life is when we're retired or when we're children. You know, and it just so happens that both during those times, we're not working. <sighs> right? I just think we should allow ourselves the enjoyment of life throughout our entire lives by becoming more aware of just how great it actually is, no matter what it is. Uh, 7.50 a.m. here in British Columbia. I gotta run to work. I'll try to remain calm out there. Bye, guys. Thank you, friend. Enjoy your calm day. Thank you. Uh, it's just hard. I understand, friend. I understand. I'm not saying that it's not hard. I'm not pretending that at all, friend. I do understand. I'm here with you. I don't think people should have to get a job. They should do what inspires them. We should focus on living. I agree completely, Viking Queen. I think we should already be at a point in our society where we can provide for people, be it food, be it shelter. Uh, like these things, we already have the resources as a species to very effectively and easily take care of these basic needs for human beings. And I think as soon as we do, and we encourage true creation, true divine expression of self, that's when we're going to have a real flourishing popu uh, like population. <clears throat> mm, you are okay with more homeless people. My friend, I don't think people should be homeless at all. That's what I'm not okay with. We all have the capacity to be self-sufficient. But we just don't want to learn due to the convenience of already ready food. <coughs> yeah, it's true. It becomes intoxicating in its own right. Oh, we should raise people who want to live life, not work their lives away. Exactly, Edmund. I, I agree completely, friend. When I was a kid, my parents grew a huge plant and they called her... Henrietta. That's beautiful, actually. Henrietta the plant. Thank you for sharing that story with me, Strong Property. I love that. Totally cool, Jovan. Glad to see you in chat. There we go. Have a good day in work. No, uh, I'm not okay with homeless people. I'm okay uh, with a government that supports their people and doesn't let that happen, though. Exactly, dude. That's exactly how it's supposed to be in the first place. Uh, I miss you all. Been busy with work and life. We know, Ryan. Like, we're just welcoming you, friend. Letting you know that you've been missed. <clears throat> there are enough houses to home everyone and land to pass out to help people be self-sufficient. You Exactly. Way, way more than enough. Do you want to have the government give you free money your whole life? My friend, it's not about getting free money. Like, what do you think taxes is? That's you giving the, the government free money your whole life. Are you okay with that? <laughs> what are you, are you talking about, dude? You're not making any sense, man. There's no such thing as free money. <laughs> Lol. We are doing a good job of killing ourselves already, Lamar. Yeah, yeah, they're exactly, dude. No, that's not what I said. Do you think we will evolve uh, to be the Borg? Uh, maybe a faction of humanity. But we have to have this paper that we've made so important in order to obtain it, yeah. 
<laughs> Literally. And the, the thing is as well, this paper doesn't serve humans. It serves corporations and the people in control of that paper. Ugh. You had me laughing on that one. I'm happy you appreciate it. Like it was a little bit dark, Yater. But I'm happy that I made that joke now. Just for you. Mm -mm, I don't believe working is the only way to have a good life. There are many more ways to sustain a good lifestyle without working 40 hours a week. Yeah, Edmund. And there are like professions where people get to do the things that they love as an occupation, you know, and that's the way that I believe it should be, right? Create a, a society in which people are taken care of and then empower the society to create things that are of value for the society. And then you have a, a perfect feedback loop. I don't believe AI will take off like something. Um, I believe you are very mistaken, friend. But that's my opinion, and you are allowed to have your own. Uh, work or homelessness. Homeless are not the only options, friend. Exactly. Exactly. You could be a nomad and help people uh, prosper. And help people. Prosperity will come to you naturally then. I do believe that as well, Viking Queen. Not only do I believe that is the case, but I believe that's almost the prerequisite. If you... Don't go out of your way to actually help people, you know, or bring love to the world. The world isn't going to help you or bring love to you either. It has to be this, like, dance, co-creation. Uh, most people want a nice house and family. School systems are not going to be designed to help the two par centers that want to live in the tent. Yeah, friend. But let people live in a tent as well. Like... If that is something that they truly want to do, who are you to say that they're not allowed to? And what makes you think that you are going to have a better life experience just because you didn't live in a tent, right? Like, if we want to think of it as moment-to-moment -moment experience, and you live both 75 years, being homeless, being homed, if you will... <laughs> And, like, you still experience moment to moment, like, maybe arguably the, the homeless person would have seen more ugly parts of humanity, of the world, as a result of their living environments and the people that they had to interact with. But there, I believe, like, for example, if you could be a homeless person living somewhere in, like, a, like a park, right, then you quite literally live in a beautiful nature environment. And that is going to be something that is your divine experience in every single day. And that's not something that I get to experience. So if I don't experience it, and that other person didn't experience it either, there would be this lack of experience in the universe. And this universe is infinite in scale and nature, so there can be no lack. <laughs> there is no lack. There is no loss. It's so true, though. Uh, why worry about AI? When we don't worry about ourselves. Exactly, Yater. Like, that's that's my point as well. Like, people, like, are so worried about AI and worried about these environmental, like, things. But they don't worry about our corporations, you know. Literally still <laughs> continuing this behavior. And then while doing this, evading taxes. While doing this, like, undercutting people with their salaries. Like, it's, yeah, it's just backwards, dude. It's It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, people will feel like they want to help you on your journey. We will give plenty of uh, backpackers who were traveling by foot money for food. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, as I said as well, Viking Queen, if it comes down to it, like, I will still continue streaming even if I'm a homeless dude. 100%. <laughs> like, I'll probably, like, find, like, a cafe that allows me to charge my phone. A car I do not recognize just showed up. Interesting. It is my brother that just got out of the car. Hello, Estienne and friends. Popping in to say happy Friday. 
and I wish you all a beautiful and peaceful weekend. Thank you, Lee, for being here, friend. It's so nice to have you here. I've been thinking so much about you. How have you been feeling, friend? How have you been feeling? Now, like, I'll share as much as I feel comfortable to Lee. Uh, Lee's mom has severe dementia, and yeah, it's something that Lee has to has been dealing with. And I'm, I think I'm thinking about you, friend. I'm sending you so much loving thoughts. You got this, dude. You're a strong, beautiful individual. I think self-sustainability would be an absolutely lovely life. I'm looking forward to it, Jovan. I'm looking forward to it. My eldest brother is an AI scientist that works with IBM. We both believe the singularity will happen sooner than later. We believe we already have weaponized AI platforms. Yeah, yeah. It's it's gonna be like one of those. Hey, Guzzler. It's nice to see you again, friend. It's been a while. How have you been, Jobot? Uh, that is what I want for my family. I'm teaching. I'm currently teaching my girls how to garden. I've not taken a single sip of water. If I'm smoking for calm, I'm going to be drinking water for sustainability because of a future run. And this is, huh? Oh, hey, Buddha. Did you get a new car? I got a new car. Yourself? Yeah. You're going to say flip it. 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 Wil jullie komen alles zeven die mensen hier stream? Ik denk niet dat jij al te zien. Dus je kunt jezelf introduceren. Ik zie een Engels. Ja. Hallo, I'm Rieu. Is dat blad hè? Ah, ja. Ik ben iemand die zo. Ik doe het dan. Je kan ook nog eens zeggen zo. Ik ben Chante. And I'm also his brother. Can't you see the resemblance? You're also my brother? Ugh, I'm also... He's, <laughs> like, he's also my brother! <laughs> Can't you see the resemblance? Uh, um, and I'm 15. Ugh, that's so sad. I don't know. Yeah, Eric. I just want to have a drink of um, that's what I want for... Oh, I forgot that comment, sorry. They are loving it. Every day they run out to see if the seeds have broken the Your little kids. <laughs> oh, because they're growing the garden. Yeah, like it's so fun to do that as well. And when they get to eat that food that they've grown themselves, I think that's going to be the aha moment. Uh, so you are a loner and have no desire for a family. Not necessarily what I'm saying, friend. But I will not pursue and have a family if I don't have the financial means to do so. If my life experience turns out in a way where that is not an option for me, then that was going to be what my life experience was supposed to be, right? Being here, not shying away from what life wants me to experience. I am melting with some Gorilla Glue number four, getting a job. Uh, to me, it's just a role you have to play in society. The role doesn't truly say who you are. Not even a bit, Ryan. Not even like a slither of who you are. What you can do though, in your occupation, no matter what it is, even if it's you sweeping streets, you can be the expression of love. People passing by, you can say hi to them. You can smile at them, you can make someone's day better, right? You can stop and talk to someone who looks like they're having a bad day. You can be the expression of love, no matter where you are. Uh, like in Queen, uh, what you did, that was done for me when I was younger and backpacking, such a selfless act of pure kindness. I think it's, it's so important as well. I love that, Candace. Uh, have you heard of the community garden programs? It's such a wonderful thing. Um, if we can get the desire for convenience out of the way. It's true. It really is true. Like, like I think convenience is not something that necessarily has to go away completely either, Jovan. I just think we have to realize that there is some points of excess. I find the singularity event scary and cool because it's a coin flip. Yeah, like it's it's a really... 
it's a really difficult one for us to wrap our minds around though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying, but my brain is melting while I'm trying to pursue this idea. Uh, we want to get 10 acres or more and grow a garden big enough so we can give our produce uh, or have an open garden for people to visit. Yeah, that would be the coolest thing ever. Like, just having open gardens and then people come and then harvest for themselves. And then you can have, like, almost volunteer-based systems as well, where people can come and help you garden. And then they can also take produce home as a result of that as well. How cool would that be? Ah, uh, melt more. You were on the right path. You were right where you are supposed to be. Making the world a better place is way better than any job. Thank you, Gator. Like, that, that means the world to me, friend. I really appreciate that. Cheers from Seattle, sending good vibes. Thank you, Gaddy. I appreciate it, friend. Sending you good vibes as well. Healing the world with harmony. That's the way. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing right now. Jobs and responsibilities will come. This investment you're making in spiritual growth and creating positive space and energy will pay dividends for a lifetime. Like, I feel it is. Like, this, this is infinitely valuable, Lee. This is paying dividends. Like, this is, like, so important, so significant, so just absolutely awe-inspiring wonderful. And, like, I'm, I'm just trying to be here for that. I'm trying to be so aware of what I have and what I have to be grateful for. It sounds selfish to say you should be provided a house and food while others work. My friend, like, we're going into a robotic age. Tech support, Larry. You do realize that, right? So, we're already in the robotic age. You're already benefiting from other people doing the work. So, like, I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. I'm not selfish. Uh, are you saying people don't deserve basic human rights just because they want to do something different with their lives than you? Yeah, I'd rather pay tax dollars. Uh, go to people who need it than the military or politician pockets anyway. It's exactly. Like, if we just take the money from the military, put it towards the people. We solve all problems. For those of you who didn't get it, I was trying to do a Patrick meme. Uh, and I butchered it. <laughs> but that's how it should be. 778 billion, billion of a B dollars was spent in 2019 alone on the military. You know, that's enough money to take care of people. <sighs> Da, 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 da. Uh, money is just a social institu institution, like a measurement. I wish our country would value helping others as currency. Yeah. So weaken the countries uh, because people are selfish and won't work. Yeah, weaken the country, friend. You do realize that, man, there's so much noise going on right now. You do realize that America has the largest military force of all other countries. Do you, do you think that there is going to be a point at which, like, if you ever stop making weapons, all the other countries are going to make so many more weapons that they have more weapons than you. Now, you make more weapons again so you can stay ahead of them. At what point is our entire planet covered in fucking weapons? Like, what's the point? What's the point? I, oh, <laughs> I'm getting angry. The military is, is flawed. War is not the way. Like, sure, maybe if you want to be safe, do, like, anti-missile stuff, right? Anti-air stuff. Like, have that as a defense system. But the amount of freighters and planes and tanks and Humvees and, like, uh, assault rifles and grenades and explosives and these things that are being manufactured and then sold for these absurd up up-marketed prices as well because you're taxing the government. And when you charge the government things, ask any contractor. You don't charge them, like the basic price you charge them like 10x the price sometimes i'm dead serious that's what you can do when you're a government contractor and it's not the way it's supposed to be if you can suggest a better way tech like <laughs> if you think if you think are th if you think things as they are right now larry is going good you know it's going well and we're going to continue on this path and it's going to turn out well at the end of the day you're sorely mistaken, friend, unfortunately. Uh, can you see how weak this country already is because of the actual selfish ones in charge? Open your eyes, I beg. <laughs> yeah. You know what the best part is, Edmund? 
like the country is spending all of this money on the military, right? Pumping billions upon billions of dollars into the military, while at the same time having rules in place, the Second Amendment, that empower people to carry firearms in the, in the case even of a tyra tyrannical government. So there is a scenario even like written into the very American base like <laughs> amendments, right? That says that people should be able to carry weapons to defend themselves from their government. So the entire people are a force of their own. And then there's the government that creates this force of their own as well. And you see where I'm going with this? Like, it's, it's scary, dude. And that's the thing. Like, the country is weak because of that. Because there's internal turmoil. The people are not with you as the country. So it, you, they don't see it as their military. They see it as this thing that is, you know, almost like a cancer of the country. The country's strength shouldn't be measured by the success of corporations. Yeah. And the thing is as well, like Larry, like my country puts almost no money into the military. <clears throat> like less than half a percentage, like probably less than that of the amount of money the U.S. military puts into or the U.S. puts into their military, right? Our country isn't suffering from external forces either. It's again the internal structure of the government that's the problem military is not <laughs> is not the solution dude uh there's just more to life than working and making money those are the utmost important things to living in a successful and fulfilling life aren't yeah i was about to say aren't the most important things to living a successful and f fulfilling life yeah exactly like people that chase uh like a life of like loyal work and loyal work in order to make like a good salary so that they can retire one day with a good pension if if that is their entire life goal and that's how they measure their success like maybe they'll measure their success in that way but they won't measure any fulfillment in that way because they're going to be in that state where they have achieved this success that they went out to achieve and then they're going to be like okay now what and then they're going to realize oh now i get to live my life and then you have 20, 30, 40, 50, if you're very lucky, years left to experience life. And while you're doing that, you're going to be experiencing it with uh, an older body, which isn't as free to move anymore, isn't as keenly attuned to its senses. And it's, it's the way things are. It's the impermanence of life. Realizing the impermanence of life lets you truly appreciate the present good luck with these radical ideas very radical uh, i won't poison your streams any longer because i see i'm unwanted you're not unwanted friend your opinions just don't make sense to me <laughs> right like that's the thing like i love talking to you but i don't understand where you're coming from like if you want to give me a way to think that is better than the way i'm thinking right now then please i'm like i'm open to that but you're not doing that, friend. Like, the alternative you're suggesting is worse. <laughs> Are you outside? Yes, I am. I am outside, friend. <clears throat> you said uh, you were smoking CBD. Can you tell me what that is? CBD is cannabidiol, friend. So in marijuana, it produces primarily tetrahydrocannabinol, which is THC, and cannabidiol. Yeah. And cannabidiol is like the the counterbalancing of weed. So it's supposed to like make the, the experience a little bit more mellowed out. Because it's not all the way THC stimulant vibes that is like making things overactive. CBD comes in and like chills things out a little bit. That's that's my, my way of like <laughs> layman's uh, explaining it for you. <sighs> you were not unwanted. Yeah, not unwanted, friend. Just we don't agree uh not radical ideas yeah i was about to say like what's radical about them oh you're outside it looked like one of those zoom backgrounds nope this is irl friend the real life uh you are co-creating with us meltmore says this all the time yeah stay and hang out with us exactly the thing is you're saying 
is inspiring me to say something else, right? So it's like this back and forth. The things you're saying, I'm radically disagreeing with, maybe. I'm like, I'm like no, no, I don't agree. No. <laughs> so like, I'm going to say things. I have to say things. Uh, just because someone's ideas are different, do not make them radical. Exactly, I agree with that as well. I love Shante. She has a sweet voice. She's wonderful. I love her so much as well. Nice to meet you all. Lol, my brother. Are you sure about that? Yeah, Gator. Yeah, it's my bro, dude. I know he's the pretty one. Uh, the debate is good. And hearing other people's views on social matters, like homelessness and social welfare, is interesting. Exactly. It's supposed to, We're supposed to allow ourselves, you know, the full plethora of experience as well. Because when we shy away from these things, we are the ones losing at the end of the day. Right? We should just be present for them. Do the genes are strong in these ones. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that, friend. But that's like literally, you know, the ultimate flip of a coin. Like flip of the coin that had like a one in billion chance. And yet, I did it a billion times and ended up a billion different places. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? There's no separation, friend. Me and you were experiencing the same eye consciousness. That was fantastic. Nice to see you all smiling. It's nice to see you, well, like imagine you smile rather as well, Smitey. That's smart. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, what is what is smart in the, the grand scale of universe? Like, it's interesting that we can even fathom the scale of the universe, but like the more that I try to, the more I realize that I probably don't know anything. <laughs> you know, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, I say stuff like that all the time when I'm talking about my sisters. I've told people that I'm sisters with my sisters. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it happens to you as well. I'll tell her. I'll be sure to tell her, Lane. Uh, what can we do for our immediate communities? Like, that's the thing, friend. I believe in this immediate moment, if you have a significant other, if you have a kid, if you have a customer, no matter who it is you're interacting with, in that moment, you get to make that moment something that is beneficial to the both of you or something that is going to be, you know, stealing something from the both of you. And that's the immediate thing that you can do, friend. My father was homeless for two months and slammed rough on buses, trains and the subway. I'm glad he got the help he needed with taxpayer money. My father is doing very well now. There we go, Mammy. I'm so happy to hear that, friend. That's perfect. And that's the way it's supposed to be as well. <clears throat> Life comes in seasons. You just have to ride them like waves. Isn't that the best? That really is the way it is. Oh, was that your sister, Mel? She's beautiful. That was Mammy. Um, that's what the community's garden programs are. Uh, they teach the homeless how to garden. And they collect what they need. Ding, 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 stonks, right? And we can kind of get to a place where we're also uh, using <sighs> vertical farms so we can have rooms or like floors and buildings dedicated to growing food for homeless pe like people in the general area. So it's not something that is only bound to places where there's large open fields, but literally in the middle of cities as well. Mm -hmm. Very grateful for the energy we created in this space once more. Thank you all. Yeah, like I feel almost a little bit exhausted by the amount of energy we've created. Rina, thank you, Rina. Yeah, thank you, friend. We appreciate you. Have you ever talked to someone at a company and they said, the computer won't let me do that? The computer won't let me do that. No, I don't think I've ever heard someone say that to me. Because most of the friends I have is like programmers as well. So they're the ones that, you know, says to the computer what to do. But if you're making an AI joke, I love it. Um, that's military spending in South Africa. Like, I don't know. I don't know about the exact numbers. But I can guarantee you it is less than a half a percent of the American budget. Mm, thank you. We are too concerned with protection and the military then preventative care that would help all people yeah exactly like just the, the look at the medical system in america like enough said 
Uh, my sentiment exactly melt getting heated with you dude i'll get angry <laughs> like it, i don't get angry easily but stuff like that makes me angry uh texas just passed a law that you can open carry without a fucking permit like what nice <laughs> yeah nice in the meantime military vets are homeless yeah like how's that for like a society based on like praising the military and then also abandoning them like where how in that $778 billion that you spend, don't you find budget to, like, take care of your veterans? Right? That's, oh, man, that I'm going to get pretty steamy. Hmm, I have to get going. Yes, our American government is so messed up. I wish the world that was going to war went into, the money that was going into war went into helping the world. Hopefully soon it will. Ryan, thank you for being here, friend. Yo, that was a spicy. What's the point? <laughs> the first time I've heard something like that from Mel. <laughs> I'm sorry, Led. I didn't mean to get too spicy, dude. Like, it's it's not what we want to do, right? It's not a judgment. We don't want to be in judgment or fear of the military. Even though it's very hard not to judge it. We want to be in loving forgiveness of that. And believe in this loving forgiveness that things will change. <clears throat> Ryan, love you, bro. Doll, green screen. Like, this is IRL, dude. Like, you can see the exposure changing, can you? Why do people, why do I have to prove it's not a green screen? <laughs> it's not a green screen. Hey, Melt. Um, hey, everyone. Hope all of you have been having a good day. Tech guy. It's nice to have you here, friend. Happy Pride. I wanted to say, like, I was waiting for you to join specifically just to tell you happy pride. Like, it's not something I've, like, I say irregularly because I'm not sure if it's that important for me as a straight dude to say something like that. But I, because I wanted to tell you that I've been thinking about you. Happy pride to you, friend. Hey, tech guy. Hey, tech guy. What's up, man? <clears throat> the aspiring cult leader. Relax yourself, dude. Like, a cult, again, deifies a single being. I believe we are all divine in nature. So there is no way for something like that to happen in my mindset. Uh, so much love. You all are the best. You're the best as well, tech guy. I love you, my friend. Thank you for being here. We have Chow, a melt. Each of us can do a lot <clears throat> for I just climbed Himalaya with my brother. Only equipment was a water bottle. Feels great. Chow, you are an absolute machine. I hope you took some photos, and I would love to see them, dude. I, I, have, you, have you joined our Discord channel? Please, please show me, dude. Please show me the Himalayan mountains. I would love to see that. Like, I want to go there as well now because I've heard so much about its ethereal, spiritual nature, and that stuff really intrigues me. Going and meditating in the Himalayan mountains sounds like an absolutely divine experience. Hey, Lavender Jones, thank you for joining us as well, friend. Mm, did your brother enjoy the climb to Chow? Oh, I can imagine. I just imagine the views. Oh. Um, it isn't selfish how the ultra wealthy are getting away with not paying taxes. While average working class people struggle to keep a roof over our heads and food on the table. Yeah, so like your employer gets taxed for paying you. Then your your like <laughs> salary gets taxed by the government then they tax the food that you buy then they like <laughs> right <laughs> like there's just a tax like in every little nook and cranny that they can fit it and it's the the general people that's paying for it already and in the same breath where people are paying for this thing, right? Like you're paying this tax for the service of the government to take care of the people and it's not happening. And mammy, uh, mama is from Texas also. And mammy is from Dublin, I believe, Dublin, Ireland. Uh, but yet there's a whole army of working class people trying to keep it that way. Yeah, literally working hard to keep it that way. Makes absolutely no sense. My brain hurts as well, dude. Like... My brain is actually hurting right now, talking about this stuff. <sighs> because I'm so aware that I'm very naive when it comes to what I'm talking about as well, right? Because I don't know all the intricacies of what happens on a governmental level to take care of people. 
<sighs> but the way that I understand things and, you know, looking at the amount of people in a country and then the amount of money that there is, you know, being pumped into the government from the people in the country. It like it genuinely it's hurting my brain to understand how they are not taking care of people. I like I understand that it's it's corruption and people stealing the money that's supposed to go to the people, but I don't understand how that is something that continues and continues and continues. He did, mammy. My parents said we couldn't do it. We made a video how they looked like miniature specks from the top <laughs> were cheesy. Also called them and wave from the top. Ciao, I need to see that video, dude. That sounds amazing. If the rich were more um, philanthropic and helped out the less fortunate with their wealth, then I wouldn't mind. But I think the majority just want to fill their boots. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, that is the majority right now. Uh, Yash says, I literally could listen to you talk all day. You make me think so differently. And to be more open-minded. I'm happy, friend. That That's like... That's the only thing I can really hope to do at the end of the day, right? It's not, I'm not anything that I'm saying. I'm not saying it because I believe it's absolute truth. I'm saying these things and talking about things just as an expression of myself and of my current feelings about things, my current thoughts on things. I want you to take these things in and as you said, be open-minded about them. Think for yourself differently about things because of the things that you have been like introduced into your field of consciousness and then weigh it with the things that you've kept to be true before. If you feel this thing, whatever it may be in your feeling, right, carries more value to the way that you've been thinking about something before, then it's your choice. What parts you want to make part of yourself, right? It's just melting things, you know, a part of yourself. And the things that don't serve you melts off as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you being here, Yash. I don't think I've ever seen you comment, friend. Love and light to you. Uh, Javan, I saw a video about this this morning from Midas Touch talking about how some working class people are convinced that's the best. Like, I think it's also, again, the default mo mode network where they, they saw their parents be that way and now they are that way and it becomes something that's so programmed and so regular that it's very hard for people to escape that definitely different perspectives are so refreshing it really is it really really is i'm a swede living in dublin ireland nearly two decades now two decades now okay i didn't know you were a swede mammy that's new information to me that's really cool uh, they can be more philanthropic but only after they can buy the new super yacht yeah the new super yacht is too cool dude. i'll be philanthropic after i get the new super yacht Fair play to you and your bro, child. You did it. Yeah. Melt is a usual half an hour behind on the chat. I'm not a half an hour behind, child. I'm like five minutes behind. I'm doing good, dude. I'm Give myself a pat on the back, dude. I'm doing good. <laughs> I think the way out of a matter of bringing awareness is a way that doesn't trigger the backfire effect. Navigate people's minds in a way that they don't put up a wall to new information. Exactly. Get it? Get it in a way where you can like explain an idea to them without them thinking you're attacking anything that they've been thinking before. Because again, it's that amygdala, amygdala thing, right, Jovan? The flight of flight. Ah, get angry! Or I'm gonna run away from you <laughs> because you said something I don't agree with. Hey, Toasty, man! We've been getting deep into it again, dude. Jumps out of bed. Are we getting mad about the government mishandling our tax funds? I'm in it, yeah. We did, dude. <laughs> we did get mad, bro. I don't, I wouldn't be mad anymore. I don't have my calm joints, you know? Like, there might be a single puff left here to smoke. <sighs> Let me calm down. Like, we're way over the time I usually end the stream, but I love you, friends, so much, and I'm so far behind comments that I don't want to leave. I don't think I'm getting anything. Calm. 
Oh goodness, the calm. I think I got... <laughs> I got some oil in my mouth. Oh goodness. What have I done? I can feel it coursing through my veins. <laughs> Uh, da -dum -dum, da -dum -dum. Hey, a toasty. Um, that's I mentioned it. Yes, toasty. Join us. We did. Ah, oh, you are so sweet, Mel. Thank you for the happy pride. Thank you, tech guy. I appreciate your presence, friend. You are so loved. Happy pride, friend. Love the love. <clears throat> Let's get some pride in the chat. There we go. We got some pride in the chat. I right, I'll join the Discord now. I look forward to it. We'll see you on that side, ciao. Mm, because you have a lighter on your face, people think it is unnatural. You have a light on your face, people think it's unnatural. The light is a necessary evil. So we can see your face. Um, it, it only takes a little bit to realize that it is real and not green screen. So, like, to show you what it would look like if we didn't have the light. Like this would be the vibe. I mean, like, it wouldn't be unwatchable, but... I wouldn't want to watch it. <laughs> Let me say that. Uh, thank you for all of the, the pride as well, Lavender Jones. Happy pride, my beautiful fellow humans. This chord. Oh, I like that, Javan. That's so cool. Hi, Jon Snow. Are you sad Game of Thrones is over? <sighs> no, I've cashed out, dude. Made my bit. Do I have oil on my face? No. <laughs> Excuse me for using you, friends, or well, the the stream cam as a mirror. Uh, hope you had a great day, Mr. Melt. I did certified technician. I recently learned our certified technician friend is actually also streaming. He has beautiful curly hair himself. What a wonderful dude. It was nice chilling with you the other day, friend. Uh, my pashmina comes in today. I can't wait to show you. Ooh, toasty. I look forward to seeing it. You're 10 minutes behind. I'm like a single minute behind. Ciao. Checkmate, you smoked that whole thing? Hell yeah. I smoked the whole thing and then got like the little bit of oil that you're supposed to leave in the Garrick as well. He'll speed run. I'm speed running right now, dude. <laughs> you got a Pashmina? Nice toasty. Will you share a pic of you wearing it? I hope so. The the cannabis lip balm. Yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly that. Toasty, where are you from? Toasty is American as well. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Cannibalism. <laughs> Uh, canny bomb. I don't know where I, where I went for cannibalism. I like saw the, the canny and the M at the end. I'm sorry, Jovan. Uh, now I want to listen to Cannibal Corpse. Okay, I'm not the only one. Go. Yes, yes <laughs> podcast today. Actually, no, tech guy. Um, my friend, he still has exams up until like 35 minutes past seven. And we usually start around seven because I tried to be in bed by like nine. So we ended like... After eight ish, but we're going to do it tomorrow. Hmm. Tegar, do you want to be on the podcast tomorrow? Now, now you have interjected, so now I'll continue streaming until you give me an answer. Is that something that you would like to do? Do the ring test on the Pashmina. The ring test, Cha? Ring? I'm trying to like think of all of the different meanings, like, yeah, like I'm happy that you're also wondering, Toasty. So a ring, like my finger is a ring. Is this the ring test? Am I ring testing it now? Am I like, ding a ling 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 a ling? I'm ring testing it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm supposed to. Supposed to fold it up like this. I'm ringing it out. Uh, <laughs> I would love that. Thank you. There we go. Sick. We have our new guest tomorrow for our new podcast or at least another podcast. Thank you so much. Uh, ding a long ling ling. <laughs> a true Pashmina shawl will pass through a ring. No problem. No matter how big it is. Oh, no. This is not a true Pashmina shawl. This is not a true Pashmina. This is like uh, a gift from a friend. I know that the true pashminas are made like off of those rare furs, right? These are not those, but this is, it's gorgeous. Just look at that, dude. 
then this is the other side. Now I want to see the middle as well. Right. Ah, this thing makes me so happy. It's gorgeous. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what's going on right now, but I love it. <clears throat> okay, and then this would be the other side. Like, it has a gold side and then it has a green side. This is the, the more goldy side. <laughs> oh, you have the design as a thing going through a ring. It's like the ring test. There we go. Yeah, that is the thing. Uh, the palsy is lovely. <sighs> You're right, Lane. This makes me laugh. Love it. <laughs> the eyebrow dance. There we go, friends. The eyes. I'm happy you friends appreciate it as well. I love you so, so much. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, my lovely friends. Love and light to you.